Benchmarks for the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus show that we shouldn't worry about specs. Apple seems to be silently limiting the CPU on old iPhones for some odd reason, and BlackBerry earnings don't seem to slouch after the company's new push. I'm Jaime Rivera. I was supposed to be back in Honduras today, but it seems United wants me to stay an extra day in NOLA, and I'm not going to complain. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for any iPhone right now, T-Mobile is probably one of your best options. There is a buy one, get one free deal right now for the iPhone 8, that's enticing. Even more interesting, if you want the iPhone 10, there is actually a trade-in option available. You can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about BlackBerry. The company has just posted its quarter results. And uh, for those of you that thought you should worry about BlackBerry, it's very interesting once you dig into the numbers. First of all, the company reports that 25% of its revenue is down. But once you start digging into the amount of profit, their profit is currently at 74%, uh, which is kind of crazy. I hope I got the numbers right, but most important is great to see that the whole partnership between TCL and BlackBerry and the company's push into software has, you know, worked because this is one of those brands we really don't want to go away. And speaking of earnings, for those of you that are scratching your heads over why Samsung is Apple's primary partner in the OLED displays for the iPhone 10, there's a big number involved. Analysts are confirming that uh, Samsung is pretty much going to make $20 billion in revenue from this whole screen operation. It just shows you how these companies get along, and it's just funny to see everybody just going at themselves in the comments over the iPhone is better or the Galaxy is better, and then Samsung and Apple are just happy at each other, just helping each other out, enabling their products, because that's the way this market actually works. Now, speaking of Apple, we've got some very interesting news that emerged from Geekbench, where there are some forums that are claiming that there are problems in the performance of the iPhone 6S and iPhone 7, and some benchmarks have just proven that after the recent software updates to these phones, the processor is being throttled by Apple, and the claims have to do with battery life. Apparently, Apple is trying to preserve and provide better battery life, but doing so at the expense of performance. I haven't really tested it out on either our iPhone 7 or unit because it's not with me. So let us know in the comments if you're dealing with performance issues after this update, because I don't think it's going to go away. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. There are some benchmarks from this phone. For those of you that were worried about things like 4 gigabytes of RAM on this smartphone, according to this benchmark, it's 6 gigabytes of RAM, but then it makes us wonder if that's going to be the case for the Galaxy S9, the regular size variant, as apparently that one's going to stick to 4 gigs. Uh, processor Snapdragon 845 in addition to the Exynos 9810, so we can expect the best top-of-the-line second-generation 10 nanometer process here. Uh, but it leads me to the question today, I mean, what do you think about the specifications in these benchmarks? Do you think that Samsung is going the right route, or do you think that the company should push a little harder? Because in my case, you know, I, I feel that Samsung does a great job at not catching up, but not in this case. I mean, why not something even better? Leave us a comment down below. We would love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow Daily up here and our review of the Pixel 2 XL down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.